Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here on Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it. I promise to update daily and if you love this watch, you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today we're discussing a 2018 Basel World novelty and a delightful one. This is the Hublot Classic Fusion King Gold Green. 45 millimeters in Hublot's King Red Gold with a high copper percentage. Not pink, not rose, but red. The watch also features an exquisite medley of greens, a timepiece that simply pops on the wrist, and whereas Hublot's Fusion philosophy generally involves different materials. It works just as well as a metaphor for the contrast of colors. This is a striking watch. Now the timepiece 45 millimeters in diameter wears easily on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. Part of the reason is the shape of the case and you can see why. Those lugs turn down and they sort of bend the watch around the wrist so there's no issue fitting the watch to a wrist as small as 14 and a half centimeters in circumference. Even though the lug to lug measurement of the watch is 54, it's the shape of the case that makes this one wearable on a smaller wrist. It is a thin watch, 11 millimeters thick despite automatic winding and as you can see the stacked modular multi-piece Hublot construction. This will slide easily underneath any dress cuff or formal sleeve. Now jump into the strap itself. This is where the fusion element becomes a little bit more literal. Hublot likes to talk about fusing materials. What do we see? Well we see titanium bolts, red gold, we see a resin gasket for the bezel, we see natural vulcanized rubber for the strap and an inlay of alligator leather, medium rectangular scale in a sort of olive drab, almost quasi-military. It handsomely contrasts with the red gold even as it complements the metallic green of the dial. The clasp itself is a handsome piece as you can see both satin finished and polished. You open it with twin triggers so it cannot pop open by accident. Inside you're greeted by both polish as well as satin finish, the Hublot H logo inside the chassis of the buckle. You can tuck the excess length of the strap underneath the clasp and the result being that once it's sized down there are no minder loops and there's no excess length visible so it's a very clean clasp in addition to being a very handsome, substantial and secure one. Now the rubber keeps the oils, heat, moisture, sweat and grit of the wrist from reaching the leather so though it's a leather strap it's going to outlast many comparably cut leather straps. This piece of leather will last forever as long as you don't try to go swimming with it. Now jumping straight into the dial and the features of the case, you can see that Hublot really sweated the details here as there's a handsome contrast of satin and polish but also a contrast of materials as you have those H pattern Hublot titanium bolts black polished inside the satin finished red gold. You'll also appreciate the form of the case flank. It's almost like a Rolex Datejust or Daytona with that fluid compound curved flank and then it terminates in a hard, sharp and squared off lug shoulder. I love that juxtaposition of angles and curves. Of course you also have the juxtaposition of the black resin gasket and the red gold of the case. The flank of the bezel of high polish, the hood of the bezel of satin finish and you can see that to good effect here. The dial is difficult to capture on camera but you can see and this is probably the best angle to capture it. It is a sunburst green that appears anything from black to a sort of olive or, or one might say pea green. It's an explosive metallic effect in person that has a wonderfully dynamic movement of light across its surface and I can't fully capture that in the box. You're going to have to take my advice and experience this one on the wrist. The indices as well as the hands at center are diamond polished and faceted for maximum contrast. The indices in particular are beautifully crafted with multiple facets. They're almost like cut gems in the way they twinkle on the dial and you can see that there's a crease down the center of the baton style hands to increase their contrast against the dial base. The Hublot H logo is the counterweight to the needle style seconds and there is a matching monotone green date disc with a white print and the timepiece featuring a push down crown with the Hublot logo, 50 meters water resistant underneath the case back, Hublot caliber 1113 automatic winding. It's a high grade Salida SW300. I was actually surprised to see that the grade of the balance and the hairspring are either top or chronometer grade and that is unexpected from Hublot blow a company that's high on fashion but generally gives short shrift to tech in its non-manufacturing movement timepieces. The grade of the balance and hairspring in this watch shocked me. The movement's automatic winding bi-directional 4 hertz beat rate, 25 joules. It has a 42 hour power reserve and as you can see it uses Etacron for adjustment so it's very precise when regulated. 50 meters water resistant. 
You can see that the watch is constructed out of 18 karat red gold. People often ask, what's the difference between king gold and magic gold? Ublo makes both, and the difference is easy to explain. King gold, as you see right here, is red. Magic gold is hard. Magic gold looks like bronze, and it's scratch resistant. King gold is as red as it comes, effectively Ublo's equivalent to Rolex's Everose or Omega's Sedna red gold. You can see this 45 millimeter Ublo Classic Fusion King gold green and experience the green dream on the watch box.